Leipzig is a very thriving city, maybe the most thriving city in the whole East. Leipzig was recognized, of course, you know, as a cradle of quantum physics. I always say one third of modern physics was invented in Leipzig. We have many famous uh, physicists here that are known around the, the world, especially our biggest uh, figure here that was Werner Heisenberg. Understanding everything that's out there in terms of physics is clearly what needs to be done. And understanding biological systems is definitely something we have to do. But on the other hand, uh, it's a similar complexity if you look in electronic behavior in, in solids. The Institute of Experimental Physics One is focusing on soft matter physics with a particular focus on cells. What we are trying to do is to use uh, the polymeric uh, material properties to understand nerve regeneration and the progression of cancer. Cancer is so diverse that on a molecular level it's curing about 200 different diseases. While uh, in progression of cancer, the material properties of cancer cells are the same. Something we're particularly successful in the moment in probing the biomechanical properties of a cancer cell. We've developed a tool called the optical stretcher, which basically pulls on cancer cells. And turns out that metastatic cancer cells are softer and more contractile. The optical stretcher is a first device where we can detect um, metastatic cells and determine them from normal cells. The optical stretcher works by trapping single cells between two opposite laser beams and then they are stretched by increasing the power of the laser and then we see whether a cell is more deformable or less deformable, so soft or stiff. The optical stretcher can measure single cells. We are now currently developing to measure also tissue fragments, so a cluster of 50 cells or more. A long-term uh, goal is really uh, to understand fundamental processes of physics in cancer progression and hopefully to find uh, new therapies, new drug treatments, which are based on changing the physical properties of cells. Here in the Institute, we investigate quantum states in hard solid matter. We make new materials, new nanostructures, in which we have quantum states at ambient temperature. We have equipment that covers everything we need. So we go from the epitaxy all the way to the device, just in this one building. The quantum states that we investigate are in microcavities. In my research, I've been growing semiconductor microcavities to study the interaction between light and matter and uh, the resulting new quantum states. These layered structures are made by pulsed laser deposition from different target materials. We use ellipsometry to control the exact thicknesses of the sample. With the right design of the microcavity, we are able to observe Ose Einstein condensation of exit and polar returns by photoluminescence experiments. Eventually, the dream is, of course, quantum computing, touching, feeling quantum physics, to, to use quantum mechanics really in the everyday life. So you can buy quantum mechanical devices. To build a quantum computer, it is necessary to produce artificial nitrogen vacancies and address them on an exact place. With these machines, we can really implant single atoms with an accuracy of two nanometers in diameter. I see this work going in future really in the production of large arrays of NV centers. When we have this array of atoms, then we really have uh, the scalable uh, quantum uh, objects that we need to build a quantum computer. Leipzig is the only place in the world where you have all the experts around to do that. Physics is, of course, by definition an international subject and you have to compete at the international level and we do. So we have a bachelor and a master to educate international scholars. We are also very open to international doctoral students. Lots of them are here already. The international physics program is really great because uh, you can take the classes in English. The university is uh, tuition free, so even for international students like myself, we can get this world-renowned physics education. Because in Leipzig University we have uh, such a big variety of uh, research topics which one can choose, there are numerous opportunities to work in advanced research. There are a lot of institutes that are partnered with Leipzig University. So it's possible to work, for example, at the Leibniz Institute of Surface Modification or many of the other partner groups. The seminar groups are very small. There is a lot of interaction between the professors and the students. The physics in Germany is being really pushed to the limit and I feel like I am a part of that. 
The city is very beautiful, the architecture, it's very uh, classic European. It's very wonderful being a student in the city. 10% of the population are students. They keep the city vibrant and very alive. It's also a very central location to see many of the other attractions and sites that the country and Europe has to offer. It's a great place to study physics. Leipzig is a very nice town, so I think most of the students enjoy studying physics in Leipzig very much.